super excited about April Fool's Day, Pink Bear. Oh, yeah. Uh, this year, I want to make it the best ever. How? I'm going to pull off the best April Fool's Day pranks. So, uh, I, I, I'm not really good at it, though. Yeah, honestly, neither am I. So, I thought that if you read this book, which I actually was about to, uh, maybe I could, like, learn some good pranks that then I could do at school. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm also here to learn things. Oh. Well, um, you do April Fool's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have one foolproof April Fool's trick. Really? What is it? I'm afraid to know. Oh, it's easy. I say, April Fool's, and then I eat you. Huh? What? That's not a trick. I'm pretty sure that's a trick. Oh, it's a trick, all right. No, it's not the right kind of trick. Are you sure? A hundred percent. Never has been. Never will be. Oh, well then, I guess I'll have to learn some other things in this book. Just like you, pink bear. Delicious pink bear. Whoa. I never thought we'd have anything in common, Tibby. Um, but just in case, I'm going to sit over here. Oh, I can sit with you. No, it's okay. No, it's really, I can sit right by you. No, 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 put like a chair between the two of you. Mm -mm. That makes me a little bit nervous. But okay, let's focus. April Fool, watch out at school. Oh, already I see signs of jokes everywhere. I was told that we have to keep an extra eye out on this book. Not sure why. Maybe because it's full of April Fool's jokes? Let's find out. Because I actually do need to learn some things. There we go. April 1st is April Fool's Day, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you see this? April does not have 31 days. Do you think they made a boo-boo? Do you think they're trying to trick us? Uh, okay. And then here we go. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Th this guy right here, he's got a picture of himself on his own on his own jammies? Well, that's kind of custom. All right, here we go. Again with the wrong calendar. You guys, just remember, April only has 30 days, not 31, if anybody should ask. Okay. Gilbert woke up and looked at the calendar. It was, ding, April 1st, April Fool's Day. He hopped out of bed and started filling his backpack with tricks to play on his friends. Ooh, this is gonna be good, uh, a bag of tricks. Mm. Yeah, you know, she's got her own very separate bag of tricks. His sister, Lola, peeked in the door and said, knock, knock, who's there? April Fools! Gilbert laughed and explained, now you're supposed to play a trick on someone, not tell jokes. Oh, okay, then do a trick on me. But Gilbert didn't have time to play tricks on his little sister. He was already out the door. And I could see right here that he's packing some spicy gum. Could that be the basis of a prank? And then here we have, oh, a plastic spider, pretty classic. And is that like a roll full of, of fake ants to freak somebody out? And then the, wait a minute, the clock says it's 11? That means Gilbert is running super late, or or, or, <laughs> somebody's playing a trick on you, <laughs> and it's not even me. Do you think that the writer and illustrator of the book is playing a trick on us? No, we're too smart to be fooled. Um, also, um, two different tennis shoe colors? That's wrong. Also, an alien has landed in Gilbert's room. Gilbert met Patty on the corner. As they walked to school, Patty suddenly said, Watch out, Gilbert! Your shoe's untied! And Gilbert stopped to tie his shoe, but it was already tied. <laughs> Classic! Gotcha! Patty said, April Fool! And Gilbert laughed, and he couldn't wait to try that trick out on somebody else. Is something looking a little amiss in this book right now? <laughs> There's a lot of miss. Let me point out some items for you. Oh, thank you, White Rat. Yeah, I'm street smart, so I know things. So, basically, do you notice that sign right there? Mm-hmm. It says town pool. What's wrong with that? Oh, they're going to school, but it says town pool. That's right. And you know, that's not where you go to school normally, unless you're a mermaid. Oh, in that case, yes. But then, did you notice over here? Are we in England or something? Why do you... Oh, because the driver's on the wrong side in America. Yep, yep, yep. And that's not the only thing, but I'll let you figure the rest out because you just got to figure these things out for yourself sometimes. You know what I'm saying, kid? <laughs> oh, so he takes the secrets with him. So Principal Pug smiled and waved when he saw them. Morning, good. Day, nice, a half. What? He was talking backward. The bell rang and Patty said to Gilbert, up, hurry, let's. How do you even construct the sentence backwards in your mind in real time. That's very complicated. Oh, I just spotted something. 
Do you see this? The kids are going into school, not pool, and they're entering through the, what? The exit sign? We're gonna have to keep an eye on the pages of this book very, very closely. I hope to spot anything else that's amiss, but if I miss it, you must catch it. That is your job. Mrs. Bird was not smiling or waving. She said, put away your tricks so we can get started with our reading lesson. Why is there a fork inside her cup there with the pencil and the scissors? And then today is what? It, uh, do, do you see that right there? Okay. You know what? Since you probably can't turn your television upside down, because that's a pain, and if you turn your, your device upside down, it'll just correct the video, which you, let me just do this for you. Today is April. She still wrote it back. It's, it's like impossible to read. You have to be some kind of a upside down, backwards reading genius to see that she's written it that way. Gilbert, please start on page 10 with our reading lesson. So Gilbert stood up and read out loud. Where is my book? Sam asked. I need it now. Now Mrs. Bird stopped him and said, when someone reads out loud, it would be nice to know where the punctuation marks are. Then she said, here's an idea. When you come to a period, say, pop. And when you see a quotation mark, say, <laughs> okay. A question mark can be, huh? And the exclamation point is a boing. Try it. Oh, that's going to be a wild read aloud. I've never tried it that way. Uh, but before we turn the page, um, what is wrong with her clock? Why, does, why is it backwards? It's, it's nine. And it, with the, it's all wrong. And then why is, why is she reading a music book that is not the same thing? Oh, boy. This book is whack-a-doodle. So, remember those weird instructions that she just gave? Well, let's see. Gilbert took a deep breath and started over. <laughs> Where is my book, huh? <laughs> Sam asked. Pop! <laughs> I need it now. Boing! Woo! Gilbert said. This is hard. It is hard. And Lewis laughed and said, it sure is funny. Boing! And everybody laughed. Mrs. Bird laughed too and said, thank you for being such a good sport, Gilbert. April Fool! Okay, so Gilbert then sat down and made a loud <laughs> sound in his seat. <gasps> that wasn't me! Someone put a whoopee cushion in there! Gotcha! Lewis said. Boing! Pop! <laughs> no! There's a whoopee cushion. And that was embarrassing, but that is another classic April Fool's joke. They finished her reading silently, but Gilbert kept thinking, pop! and boing, whenever he saw a period or an exclamation point. And he also kept thinking about how he could play a trick on Lewis. He had that hot, spicy gum in his pocket. Remember the one he was packing earlier? So he turned to Lewis and said, hmm, um, would, would you like a piece of gum, Lewis? No way. Too obvious, right? Meanwhile, Mrs. Bird keeps writing backwards. What is she saying here? Spelling word. This is hard. Later, Gilbert put a plastic spider on Lewis's desk when he wasn't looking. This is so fake, Lewis said when he handed it back. Then he slapped Gilbert on the back and said, your tricks are the worst. Wait, somebody changed Gilbert to Gilbret. Oh, and the tricks just keep piling up on us, don't they? Gilbert, though, was not giving up because we don't do that around here, do we? No, we don't. He still had a few more tricks up his sleeve. He also had a sign on his back that said, I smell. No wonder everyone was snickering as he walked to the cafeteria. Ooh, ooh, I would like to offer a demonstration of snickering now. You what? Yes, here I go. No, it's okay. I have to keep reading. Now, here I go. <laughs> and that was snickering. You're welcome. That was snickering. So... Lewis, Gilbert grumbled, oh, because he knew that Lewis had probably, when he patted him on the back, that's when he put the sign there, and here going to the cafeteria, but if you go this way, you're going to go to Mars, what, what, yep, and then he's shooting a camera, oh no, with water to this duck student who looks very sophisticated, like he's like ready to go right into law school, actually, from second grade, and then and then the twins are there, and then just putting on some wild sunglasses there. Um, I'm going to go Mars. I mean, why not? Let's check it out. 
Before he ate, Gilbert first checked his seat for a whoopee cushion. Very important to check. There was none. So he sat down and opened his lunchbox and jumped out of his seat. Ah! There was a worm in his apple. Patty said, it's just a gummy worm. And look, there's a note. The note said, April Fool. It was signed, Mother. <gasps> Gilbert couldn't believe it. Even his mother had tricked him. Oh, she's good. She's really good. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? There's an alien at the cafeteria? Well, they did say they were close to Mars. It was right around the corner from the cafeteria. Wait, there's more? Why is the raccoon having a sneaker for lunch? That does not make any sense whatsoever. Uh, is there something else we should be aware of? This book is just full of trickery everywhere. I hope you're learning things, Pink Bear. All right, at recess, Frank said, watch out, Gilbert, there's a bee on your head. And then Gilbert swatted at his head while Frank just laughed and laughed and said, April Fools. Then Margaret said, watch out, Gilbert, your shoe's untied. And Gilbert bent to tie his shoe, made you look. Ah, he fell for the same trick twice in one day. The frustration. <gasps> then Philip shouted, watch out, Gilbert. But Gilbert, he wasn't going to get tricked again. Oh, no, I'm not. Not again. Except I'm not. Whoop. Kung. Oops. It wasn't a trick. Before he could finish, a kickball smacked him on the head. I, I told you to watch out, Philip said. Philip, the smart, thoughtful duck second grader going straight into law school because look at him. He's already got the bow tie and the trench coat on. That or he's going to be a detective. That would work well with that outfit, too. I thought it was another trick. And he rubbed his head. This is the worst April Fool's Day ever, which means it's the best. Everybody's playing tricks on me, but I can't trick anyone. I told you your tricks were bad, Lewis laughed. You'll never trick anyone. Oh, man, that's rough. Ouch, my noggin hurts just thinking about that. Now Gilbert said, that's what you think, Lewis. I have one more trick that I've been saving just for you. Now, oh, hold up. I might have picked up this book at the library, and I see that some child, I'm assuming it wasn't you. No, it wasn't you. I know it wasn't you because you have hashtag book respect. But some child got a hold of the book with some green... Um, marker stuff, and I know you would never, ever do that, right? 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 No, of course not. Uh, except, did, wait, did, pass this green stuff. He's kicking a bowling ball. Ouch! That is also fake news right there. Lewis snorted and said, you'll never April fool me. Well, we'll see about that. The day is young. As they walked back into the classroom, Gilbert said, Oh, Lewis, let me hold that door for you. Huh, is this your trick? No, said Gilbert, and he held the door open, and Lewis walked through very quickly, just in case. I spy something weird on the page. Do you see this? The stripes are this way, and then they're back to being this way. Trickery. Visual pranking. That's what's happening right now. During spelling, Lewis could not find his eraser, and Gilbert said, Here, Lewis, you can borrow mine. Lewis looked at the eraser and said, Is this a trick? And then Gilbert said, No. But Lewis inspected the eraser very carefully before using it. Again, please try to pay no mind to whoever put green marker all over this book, but it would never have been you, right? Or anybody I know. <laughs> right? Right? You're not distracted, are you? No, okay. When they went to the art table, Gilbert pulled out a chair and said, here you go, Lewis, have a seat. And now Lewis, he's like completely freaking out now, right? Cause he's like, what is about to happen to me? This big April Fool's trick that's coming my way. Now he's like all nervous and stuff. And he's like, is this a trick, right? No, but Lewis checked the chair very carefully for a whoopee cushion before he sat down. And then, yeah, his shirt's back to being sideways, right? And then here was up and down. Yeah, just making sure we saw this right. When Lewis got up to clean his brush, Gilbert said, Be careful, Lewis. Your shoe is untied. Ha! Lewis said, I'm not falling for that old trick. Again, a classic. But his shoe actually was untied, and Lewis Kerplunk fell. 
because he stepped on the lace and then everybody's like, quack, 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 quack. That's laughing. I told you it was untied. I thought it was your trick, Lewis said, tying his shoe. Nope, my trick is much better than that. Also, can we point out that even though it's April, they're drawing Christmas things? There is a Christmas tree and there is a candy cane. Please pay no mind to whoever put green stuff all over this book, right? <laughs> What, did I? No, we didn't just, no, okay. During quiet time, Gilbert brought a book to Lewis and said, I think you should read this, Lewis. I really liked it. Lewis wouldn't take the book. He's like, is this a fake book? Is it glued shut? Is it gonna squirt me when I open it? This is the face of a freaked out kid who is not looking forward to being pranked. No, Gilbert said, it's just a really good book. So Lewis took it, but he could not concentrate on the story. He kept looking over his shoulder to see where Gilbert was. What? Is this Georgina Washington right here? I think so. What else is going on? Oh, what is happening to the globe? It's like the world has gone upside down and topsy-turvy. And then what else? Oh, the ugly duckling. Listen. What's his name, Philip, was it? You are not ugly. You are beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, you are. You're gonna be great in law school or detective school. And then this one over here is reading Good Night, Son. I'm telling you, the world turned upside down. Lewis was so busy watching out for Gilbert's trick, he didn't see Kenny pu putting a fake spider on his desk, and Lewis screamed when he saw it. Gotcha, Kenny said. And then when Penny told Lewis his shoe was untied, he bent to tie it. Gotcha. And then when Lewis sat down on his own whoopee cushion and Margaret said, gotcha, everyone laughed. And when the bell rang, Lewis finally shouted out, in desperation and frustration, I give up, Gilbert. I can't stand it anymore. Do your trick already. Gilbert smiled and said, there isn't any trick, Lewis. I just made you think that there was. And you got April fooled. Gotcha. Whoa. The biggest trick of all. Yes, mind games. <laughs> yeah, she's actually right. Mind games. He freaked him out by thinking that some big prank was coming, but since Gilbert was actually technically pretty bad about the pranks, he actually pranked him into thinking there was a prank when there was no prank. Are you following me? Because I'm getting dizzy myself. You know what? I don't even know if we caught all of the trickery in the book because there was so much going on. Oh, I, I learned a lot and I think you did miss something. I did, what did I miss? Uh, can you open the book? Okay, yeah, uh, keep keep on, keep on, uh, keep on, where? Um, now keep going. Oh wait, that alien? This one right here? Yeah, I think that was the one in the cafeteria. Yeah, I think you're right, actually. Keep going, keep going, there, right there, do you see it? No, what, what am I looking for? Right there, do you see, it's April, but the windows have Valentine hearts like Valentine's Day. Oh, you're so right. Good catch, Pink Bear. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that because, like, uh, I'm into Valentine's Day. But, but, like, that was another tricky thing that you missed, and I probably missed some more stuff, too. I, I have to pay closer attention again. This is the kind of book that you have to read in, like, a million times to make sure you get it right. I know it is. And and I, I know I missed stuff. I know it because there's so many pictures. You're probably going to want to rewind and play again and catch all the things that I missed. Hello, Mr. Alien again. Uh, everybody's eating normal foods otherwise and the, everybody, okay, grape, that's good. Um, yeah, I know there was stuff in here, uh, but that's the nature of April Fools, right? You, you, you get tricky, you get clever, you do not kick a bowling ball because that will hurt your toes. And whatever you do, make your April Fools fun, positive, and super duper smart. And whatever you do, don't eat anybody. Yes, whatever you do, that is not an April Fool's trick. Oh, you could have tricked me. Oh well, I learn things and I eat things. Goodbye, everybody. Good goodbye, Tibby Tiburon. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time. <laughs>